Now in this tutorial I am going to show you about PHP exception but in my previous tutorial I have showed about PHP error reporting you can see error reporting this video I have created in my previous part but in this part I will show you PHP error handling or PHP exception okay before seeing this tutorial if you search in Google suppose PHP exception okay you can see with PHP 5 came a new object oriented way okay because in my project i will show you object oriented programming and for this you need to learn this okay however with psp5 came a new object oriented way of dealing with errors okay when you want to dealing with errors with object oriented way okay and exception handling is used to change a normal flow of code executions you can see exception handling is used to change the normal flow of code executions in PHP you can see code will read one by one but when you use exception it will change the normal flow of code executions okay if a specified error exceptional condition occurs this condition is called an exception okay the code execution will switch to a predefined i mean custom exception handler functions anyway let's go to say live first open your jump control panel or wamp that you use start apache and mysql okay go to your folder directory htdocs our first folder edit with notepad plus plus open your browser write localhost slash your folder name okay in our previous part i have showed about php row reporting just remove and here i can write php exception okay actually php exception flow is try then throw then catch okay you need to try something below here in try block then throw will throw a new exception i mean message then catch will catch your thrown message okay that you have thrown in your throw block anyway let's go first i can write a function suppose function and i can write a name suppose check num something like that i mean check number okay you can write anything i am showing you just the example okay and here i can pass a argument value suppose num i mean number value and here suppose i write if if conditions and here just write this argument value num suppose equal equal 5 or i can write suppose not equal 5 okay then throw new exception okay and here write suppose your number is not equal 5 suppose i write you can see here i write function check number i write a argument below that i will pass anyway here you can see if this number that i will pass okay if this number not equal 5 okay this number when will not equal to 5 then throw a new exception your message this message will exception okay i mean throw you can see your number is not equal 5 and here just return true okay and again outside on your function here then write try okay try block here from try block you can send your argument below here okay so here you can write suppose call this function that we have created you can see check num i mean check number okay this function outside the function you can see this is here our function is end okay and uh, we have write a new block try block here outside the function area you need to call your function okay and i have called my function outside the function area and i write my function into try block okay you can see and here you can pass a below suppose i can pass suppose 4 you can see here i pass 4 but here i have write a condition that num this below that i am sending from try block you can see 4 
but here I have write num check is not equal five. Okay, you can see it is practically not equal five because here is five, but here is I am passing below four. Here you can write a message echo your number is equal five. Okay, and you can see now you need to print this message. You can see when your value will not equal five, then print this message. But when your value will equal five, then print this message. Okay. But practically we can see our value is 4. We are passing 4 value here in our argument. So print this exception. Okay. But before printing this exception message, you need to catch this message. Okay. So here just write catch. Catch block. And here write exception. Okay. And write dollar $E. This is the built-in way. You can see exception and dollar $E. When you use a try catch block, I mean try block, and then when you want to print message, you need to must use dollar $E. This is the building way you can see for catch the exception message. Okay, printing the message anyway. Here just write suppose echo, you can write this variable dollar $E, then go, then arrow sign, you can see then arrow sign, and then write get message okay this is the building function you can see get message this is the building function of try catch block okay when you use try catch and want to print the message you need to must use this way for catch the value or message okay so if i refresh our browser i can see your number is not equal five you can see your number is not equal five okay this exception is printed here and practically we can see our number 5 is not equal 4 because we are sending 4 value so our code is stopped here you can see printed this message your number is not equal 5 printed our functions run this message okay and then go to here and printed this message you can see printed this message but don't run this Okay, don't run this and don't generate any kinds of error. If you again read this, you can see exception handling is used to change the normal flow of code executions. Okay, if a specified error exceptional, you can see here the normal flow of code execution is first execution this, then go, then here. Okay, but when you use try catch block, you can see, I mean exception, PHP exception, you can see this code is first run and then go here but don't execution this message okay i hope you understand so if i again write here suppose greater than sign you can see number this number i will send okay four is greater than five but practically i can see our number is four so it's less than five so here you can see your number is greater than 5 okay when our condition is true then printed this message but when our condition is not true then printed this message suppose your number is less than 5 i can write you can see if i refresh this browser you can see your number is less than 5 practically we can see our number is less than 5 okay you can see 4 and printed this message but when this condition true suppose if i send six you can see now number is greater than five you can see practically we are sending the six value so it's greater than five so this condition is true and when this condition is true then printed this message okay i mean throw a new exception and code will be stopped here and printed your message you can see if refresh you can see your gr sorry <laughs> here i mistakes you can write your anyway i hope you understand your number your number greater than five practically you can see our number is greater than five so when your condition will be true then print it new exception okay otherwise print it your try message you can see that we will set so i hope you understand and also you will more learn about it when i will show you the object oriented programming oop so practice it